You know, life has a way of revealing who people really are, especially when you're at your lowest. It's easy to smile, shake hands, and be surrounded by love when everything's going right. When you're riding high, doors open, people call, and everyone wants a piece of your time. But the real test, the true measure of character, both yours and those around you, comes when you hit rock bottom. That's when you see who's truly in your corner. Because the people who leave you when you need them the most, they never were. I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. When people walk away in your darkest hour, it stinks. It cuts deep. You feel abandoned, maybe even betrayed. It's natural to ask why. Why would someone who claimed to care, who was there through the good times, just vanish when the storm hits? It hurts. It'll hurt for a long time. But let me tell you something, you can't let that break you. See, when people leave you at your lowest, they reveal more about themselves than they do about you. They show you what they were really made of all along. They weren't built to stand in the trenches with you. They weren't equipped to weather the storm by your side. And that's okay, it's painful, but it's okay. You know why? Because you don't need those kinds of people in your life anyway. It's hard to accept sometimes. You want to believe that the people who were there when things were good would stick around when things go south. But that's just not how life works. People come and go. Some are meant to be with you for a season, some for a lesson, and only a few for a lifetime. And when people leave, especially when you're down and out, that's life teaching you a tough lesson. But it's a necessary one because you've got to learn to rely on yourself. You've got to learn that not everybody who says they're down for you will be there when you're really down. When people abandon you, it forces you to dig deep within yourself. You're left with no one but you and that's where you discover your true strength. You learn to stand on your own two feet. You find out what you're made of. Because at the end of the day, the only person who can save you is you. No one else. Not the people who left, not the ones who stayed. You have to become your own lifeline. You see, when you're left to deal with things alone, you have no choice but to tap into reserves you didn't even know you had. And that's when growth happens. That's when you find out how much fight you really have inside you. Because when you can stand up after being knocked down, when you can keep moving even when everything around you is falling apart, that's where you develop real strength. It's easy to think you're strong when you've got a support system around you, when you've got people cheering you on. But real strength, real resilience, that comes when you have no one but yourself. That's when you find out just how much you can handle. You've got to understand something about human nature. People are self-preserving. When things get tough, they look out for themselves first. It's not always malicious, but it's real. When the weight of your struggles becomes too much for them to bear, they retreat. They distance themselves because your burden is too heavy for them. But you, you don't get that luxury. You don't get to run away from your own struggles. You've got to face them head on whether someone's standing with you or not. You ever notice how easy it is for people to be around when you're winning? When things are going well, everybody wants to be associated with you. They want to be part of the success, part of the good times. But when life hits you, when the setbacks come, when you're struggling to get by, suddenly it's like people disappear. They don't want to be part of that. They don't want to be around when it's tough. It's almost like they're afraid your struggles will somehow rub off on them like it's contagious or something. But let me tell you something, you've got to be okay with that. You've got to be okay with people leaving. Not everyone is built to handle the rough patches. Not everyone is meant to go the distance with you. And that's not a reflection on you. It's not about your worth or your value. It's about them. It's about what they can handle or what they can't handle. And you've got to let them go. 
as much as it hurts, as much as you want to hold on to the people who were with you during the good times, you've got to let them walk away. Because holding on to people who don't belong in your life anymore only drags you down. It keeps you stuck. You've got to make peace with the fact that some people are only meant to be part of your journey for a little while. They're not equipped to go the whole way with you. And that's okay. Here's the thing, when people leave you at your lowest, you're forced to learn how to carry your own load. You're forced to find your own strength to develop a resilience that can't be shaken by the opinions or actions of others. You learn to stand on your own two feet, to rely on yourself. And that's one of the most valuable lessons life can teach you. Because at the end of the day, the only person who will always be there for you is you. The only person you can truly count on in every situation is yourself. And when you learn to stand strong on your own, when you learn to handle your struggles without depending on anyone else, you become unstoppable. You become someone who doesn't need external validation. Someone who doesn't crumble when the support system falls apart. You've got to learn to trust yourself. To believe in your own abilities, your own instincts. Because when you've been abandoned, when you've been left to fend for yourself, you start to realize that you're capable of so much more than you ever thought possible. You realize that the strength you were looking for in others has been inside you all along. It's easy to get caught up in the disappointment, to feel hurt and betrayed when people leave. And trust me, I get it. It's painful. It feels like a punch to the gut when someone you thought would be there through thick and thin walks away just when you need them most. But you can't stay in that space. You can't let that pain consume you. You've got to use it as fuel. You've got to let it drive you to become better, stronger, more independent. Because here's the thing, the people who leave you when you're down, they're not your people. They're not the ones who are meant to be in your life for the long haul. And it's better to find that out sooner rather than later. It's better to know now, while you're still in the process of building yourself back up, who's really in your corner and who's just there for the ride. And when you come out on the other side, because you will come out on the other side, don't forget what you learned in the process. Don't forget the lessons that the people who left you taught you. Not out of bitterness, not of resentment, but as a reminder of what you're capable of. As a reminder that you don't need anyone who can't handle all of you, your highs, your lows, your struggles, your victories. You see, people will always show you who they are. And when they show you, believe them. When someone walks away from you when you're at your lowest, they're telling you that they can't handle your full story. They can't handle the messy parts, the difficult parts. And that's fine. But don't ever let their departure make you question your worth. Don't ever let it make you feel like you're not enough. Because the truth is, you are more than enough. You've got everything you need within you to handle whatever life throws your way. The people who stay, who stick by your side when things get tough, they see that. They see your strength, your resilience, your potential. They're not afraid of the storm because they know that after the storm passes, the sun will shine again. And they want to be there for the whole journey, not just the good parts. But here's the catch. You've got to be willing to let go of the ones who aren't meant to stay. You've got to be willing to release the people who can't handle your full story, the ones who only want to be there when it's convenient for them. Because holding on to people who don't belong in your life anymore will only hold you back. It'll keep you from moving forward, from growing, from becoming the best version of yourself. So let them go. As hard as it is, as much as it hurts, let them go. And focus on you. Focus on your growth, your healing, your journey. Because at the end of the day, the only person who will always be there for you without fail is you.
And when you learn to stand strong on your own, when you learn to trust yourself and rely on your own strength, there's nothing you can't overcome. People will leave. That's a fact of life. But the people who matter, the ones who are meant to be in your life, they'll stay. They'll weather the storms with you, they'll stand by your side when things get tough. And when you find those people, hold on to them. Cherish them. But until then, don't waste your energy on the ones who walked away. Because the truth is, when people leave you at your lowest, they weren't meant to be part of your rise. They weren't equipped to handle your greatness. And that's not your loss, it's theirs. Now don't get me wrong. There are good people out there, people who will stick by your side no matter what. People who see you at your worst and still choose to stand with you. But those people, they're rare. They're the diamonds in the rough and the only way you'll find them is by going through the fire yourself. It's the fire that burns away the fake, the superficial, the ones who are only there for the ride, not the battle. It's the fire that reveals the gold, the ones who are real, who will fight with you for you alongside you. But you've got to be willing to lose the others first. See, the people who left you, they taught you something. They showed you who they really were. And while that hurts, while it feels like a betrayal, it's a blessing in disguise. You don't need people in your life who can't handle the rough patches. Life is full of ups and downs, twists and turns. And if someone can't stand by you when you're down, they don't deserve to stand with you when you rise. And you will rise. Because let me tell you something, the very fact that you're still here, that you're still breathing, that you're still fighting means you've got to come back in you. It means there's something inside you that refuses to give up, that refuses to let life break you. And when you rise, when you come back stronger than ever, don't forget the ones who left. Not out of bitterness, not out of spite, but as a reminder of your own strength. As a reminder that you didn't need them to begin with. But here's the thing, when you're in the fire, when you're in the middle of the storm, it's hard to see that. It's hard to see the lesson, hard to see the blessing. All you feel is the hurt, the disappointment, the betrayal. And that's real. I'm not here to tell you to ignore that. You've got to feel it. You've got to sit with that pain, process it, let it move through you. But don't let it define you. Don't let it break you. Because the pain, it's temporary. It's a teacher. It's showing you who's real and who's not. It's revealing the people who were never meant to be part of your story in the first place. And when you come out on the other side, when you made it through the fire, you'll realize that the people who left you did you a favor. They made room for the ones who were meant to stay. The ones who were meant to walk with you through the highs and the lows. But you've got to be willing to let go of the people who can't handle the lows. You've got to release them, even if it hurts. Because holding on to people who aren't meant for you will only hold you back. It'll keep you stuck in a space you've outgrown, a space that no longer serves you. Now, I know that's easier said than done. I know it's hard to let go of people you thought would be there for the long haul, people you trusted, people you loved. But you've got to remember that not everyone is equipped to go the distance with you. Some people are only meant to be part of your journey for a short while, and that's okay. That doesn't make them bad people. It just means their role in your story is over and you've got to be okay with that. Because the truth is you don't need any who can't handle aisle, all of you, your highs, your lows, your strengths, your weaknesses. You don't need anyone who's only there for the good times. The people who left you when you needed them the most. They weren't meant to see your rise. They weren't equipped to handle your greatness. And that's not your loss, it's theirs. But here's the thing, when people leave you, it's easy to get caught up in the disappointment. It's easy to feel like you're not enough, like something's wrong with you, but that's not true. 
You are more than enough. The fact that they couldn't handle your journey says more about them than it does about you. It doesn't mean you're too much. It just means they weren't enough. They weren't strong enough, committed enough, loyal enough to stand by your side when things got tough. And you don't need that kind of energy in your life. You don't need people who will bail the moment the road gets rough. You need people who will ride with you through it all, who will stay even when it's hard, even when it's uncomfortable. And those people, they're out there, but you won't find them if you're holding on to the ones who already showed you they can't handle your story. So let them go. Let them walk away. And trust that the people who are meant for you will find their way to you. The people who are strong enough to handle your lows, who see your potential even when you're struggling, those are the ones you need to hold on to. Those are the ones who will help you rise. Now, I know it's tempting to try and bring the people who left back into your life once you start to rise. You might want to show them what they missed out on, prove to them that you didn't need them. But let me tell you something, your comeback isn't for them. It's not about proving anything to the people who left. It's about proving something to yourself. It's about showing yourself that you were strong enough to make it without them. That you didn't need their approval, their validation or their support to rise. Your journey is about you. It's about your growth, your strength, your resilience. And anyone who left you along the way, they weren't meant to see this part of your story. They weren't meant to be part of your rise. So don't waste your energy trying to bring them back. Don't waste your energy trying to make them see your worth. The people who are meant to be in your life will see your worth even when you're at your lowest. They'll see your strength even when you don't. And those are the people you want by your side when you rise. Because when you rise, it's going to be powerful. It's going to be something special. And the people who stayed with you, the ones who believed in you even when things were tough, they're the ones who deserve to celebrate that rise with you. They're the ones who deserve to be part of your story. The ones who left, they're part of your past part of the lessons you needed to learn but they're not part of your future and here's something else you need to understand when you rise you don't need to carry the weight of those who left with you you don't need to carry the hurt the disappointment the betrayal leave that behind let it go because that weight will only slow you down it will only keep you from reaching your full potential you've got to let go of the baggage to rise fully You've got to release the pain to step into your greatness. And when you do rise, you'll realize that the people who left weren't as important as you once thought they were. You'll realize that the strength you were looking for in them was inside you all along. You didn't need them to make it. You didn't need their support to rise. Everything you needed was already within you. And that's the beauty of going through the fire of being abandoned when you're at your lowest. It forces you to rely on yourself. It forces you to find strength you didn't know you had. And when you come out on the other side, when you rise, you're stronger, wiser, more resilient than ever before. And that strength, that resilience, it's yours. No one can take it from you. So don't be afraid of the fire. Don't be afraid of the people who leave you when things get tough. Because those people, they were never meant to be part of your rise and the fire. It's just part of your journey. It's the process that shapes you, that refines you, that prepares you for the greatness that's coming. And when you do rise, when you come out stronger than ever, don't look back. Don't want the people who left. Focus on the ones who stay. Focus on your growth, your strength, your journey. Because the people who left, they didn't define you. They didn't make you. You made you. And that's what really matters. You see, life has a funny way of working out. 
The people who left you who couldn't handle the heat, they're going to look back one day and realize what they missed out on. They'll see you standing tall, stronger, wiser, more resilient, and they'll know they had nothing to do with it. And maybe, just maybe, they'll feel a twinge of regret, but by then you'll be so far ahead, so focused on your own journey that their absence won't even matter anymore. Because here's the truth, the only people you need in your life are the ones who make you better. The ones who challenge you to grow, who support you when you're down, who don't run at the first sign of trouble. Those are your people. The rest, they're just extras in your story. They're not part of the main cast. When they left, they didn't take your future with them. They didn't take your potential, your dreams, your purpose. All they did was remove themselves from your path. And that's a good thing because now your path is clearer. Now you can move forward without the weight of people who don't belong in your journey. Now you can focus on you, on your goals, on your growth, being without the distraction of those who were never really meant to be there. Think about it like this. When you're climbing a mountain, you don't want to carry more than you need. Extra weight, unnecessary baggage, it only slows you down. It drains your energy, takes your focus off the climb. And that's what those people were extra weight. They were slowing you down without you even realizing it. You might have thought they were helping you, supporting you, but the truth is they were holding you back. And when they left, when they decided they couldn't handle the journey with you, they did you a favor. They lightened your load. They freed you up to climb higher, to move faster, to reach places they couldn't even imagine. And the beauty of it is, you're doing it on your own terms now. You're not relying on anyone else's approval or validation. You're walking your own path, forging your own way, and that's powerful. But let's be clear, just because they left doesn't mean you're weak. It doesn't mean you weren't enough for them. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Sometimes people leave because your strength intimidates them. Your potential scares them. They see what you're capable of, and instead of rising to meet you, they shrink back. They retreat because they're not ready to grow, not ready to face their own inadequacies. And that's not on you. That's their issue, their insecurity. You've got to keep moving forward regardless of who stays or who goes. The people who are truly meant for you, they'll be able to handle all of you, your greatness, your struggles, your highs, your lows. They'll stand with you in the fire, not just when things are easy. But those people, they're rare. They're not going to come around every day. So when you find them, when you recognize who's real, hold on to them. Invest in those relationships, nurture them because those are the people who will push you to be your best self. Those are the people who will remind you of your power when you forget. Now let's talk about what happens when you keep moving forward. See, when you're left standing alone, you've got two choices. You can sit in the hurt, in the disappointment and let it consume you, or you can pick yourself up dust yourself off and keep going and let me tell you the second option that's where your real power lies that's where you grow that's where you start to understand who you really are because when people leave they create space space for new opportunities new relationships new growth but if you're too busy holding on to the past too focused on the ones who left who left right in front of you You'll miss the chance to evolve, to step into the next phase of your life. So you've got to let go. You've got to release the hurt, the anger, the disappointment, and make room for what's coming next. And here's the thing, what's coming next is bigger than anything you've experienced before. It's going to challenge you, stretch you, push you to your limits, but it's also going to elevate you. It's going to take you to places you never thought you could go. And the people who left, they weren't built for that. They weren't equipped to go where you're going. So don't mourn their absence. 
celebrate it. Celebrate the fact that you're moving forward without the weight of people who don't belong on your journey. Now, I'm not saying it's easy. Letting go is one of the hardest things you'll ever do, especially when you care about the people who left, especially when you thought they'd be there forever. But sometimes forever is shorter than we think, and that's okay, life moves on, and so do you. You've got to trust that the people who are meant to be in your life will find their way to you. They'll show up when the time is right, and they'll stay for the long haul, but you can't force it. You can't make people stay who aren't ready for your journey. And here's the beautiful thing about life. The more you grow, the more you rise, the more you attract the right people. The ones who see your worth, who value your presence, who are willing to walk with you through the tough times. And those people, they're the ones who make the journey worthwhile. They're the ones, the struggle bearable, who remind you why you keep pushing forward even when it's hard. But in order to attract those people, you've got to be willing to stand on your own first. You've got to be willing to walk alone for a while. You've got to prove to yourself that you don't need any else to validate your journey, to tell you you're on the right path. You've got to find that strength within yourself. And when you do, when you truly embrace your own power, that's when the right people will come into your life. So don't waste your time chasing after the ones who left. Don't spend your energy trying to bring them back. They're part of your past now, part of the lessons you needed to learn, but they're not part of your future. Your future is too bright too expansive to be held back by people who couldn't handle your growth. And let me tell you something else when you rise, and you will rise the people who left won't even recognize you anymore. They'll see the new version of you, the stronger, more confident version, and they won't know what to do with it. They'll wonder how you did it, how you became who you are without them. And that's the best part, because you didn't need them to rise. You didn't need their support, their validation, their approval. You did it on your own. And that's power. But don't rise for them. Don't rise to prove them wrong. Rise because it's who you are. Rise because it's what you're meant to do. Rise because you've got dreams, goals, a purpose that's bigger than any one person. And the people who are meant to be part of that journey They'll find you, I'll show up when the time is right. But you've got to keep moving forward, no matter who stays or who goes. Life is funny like that. It'll throw people in your path who seem like they're meant to be there forever. And then just like that, they're gone. But every person, every experience, every relationship, it's all part of the journey. It's all part of what shapes you what molds you into the person you're meant to be. So don't hold on to the past too tightly. Don't cling to the people who left. They've served their purpose. They've played their role. And now it's time for you to keep moving forward. And as you move forward, as you rise, remember this, you are enough. You've always been enough. The people who left didn't leave because you weren't good enough. They left because they weren't ready for the journey you're on. But that doesn't diminish your worth. It doesn't take away from your greatness. You are still destined for something incredible, something powerful, something only you can achieve. And the people who are meant to be part of that journey, they'll find you when the time is right. So keep moving forward. Keep rising. Keep walking your path, even if it means walking alone for a while. Because the people who are truly meant for you, the ones who see your worth, they'll show up. And when they do, they'll stay. It's easy to get caught up in the pain of being left behind. To replay the moments in your mind, trying to find what went wrong, what you could have done differently. But let me tell you something, don't waste your time. Don't waste another second on people who didn't see your worth. Don't let their absence define you. Let it fuel you. 
Let it drive you to become the best version of yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's their loss, not yours. You've got to understand that life is too short to dwell on those who walked away when the going got tough. They were supposed to be the ones who stood by you, who held your hand through the storm. But when the thunder started to roar, they ran for cover. Now that stings, it hurts deep. And you're justified in feeling that pain, but don't let that pain paralyze you. Don't allow it to cloud your vision of what's possible for your life. Remember, every setback is a setup for a comeback. When someone leaves your life, especially when you need them the most, it's a stark reminder of human nature. People often operate out of self-preservation. They prioritize their comfort over your needs. It's not necessarily an evil thing, it's just a reality of how some folks navigate life. They see your struggles as burdens they can't bear. And they take a step back. But you, you don't have that luxury. You can't afford to retreat into the shadows. You've got to keep pushing forward. Think about it. You're still standing, still breathing, still fighting. That's something worth celebrating. You have a fire inside you that refuses to go out. Even when the winds of life are howling against you. You've got to harness that fire and let it propel you forward. Use it to light the way when you feel lost. It's in these moments of solitude and struggle that you find your true self. You dig deep and you discover a reservoir of strength you didn't even know you had. And here's the kicker. When you start to rise from the ashes of betrayal, you're going to become unrecognizable to those who left you. They'll look back and see the version of you that used to be, and they won't comprehend how you transformed into this fierce, unstoppable force. But that's what happens when you refuse to be defined by your circumstances. You take your pain and turn it into power. You take your scars and wear them like badges of honor. You tell the world, I survived. I thrived. I did it without you. But let's be real for a moment. Just because someone left you when you needed them the most doesn't mean you should close yourself off from everyone else. Don't let the pain of betrayal make you bitter. Don't let it harden your heart. There are still good people out there, people who will stand by your side no matter what, but you've got to be open to finding them. You've got to be willing to let them in. Now that's not an easy task. When you've been hurt, it's natural to build walls around your heart. You want to protect yourself from further pain, but those walls can become prisons if you're not careful. They can isolate you and keep the very people you need most at bay, so learn to take a risk. Open the door just to crack, let a little light in. You might be surprised at what you find. You see, relationships are a two-way street. It's not just about what you can give, it's about what you can receive as well. When you start to allow good people into your life, you open yourself up to a world of possibilities. These people will encourage you, uplift you, and remind you of your worth. They'll see the brilliance within you, even when you can't see it yourself. And that's what you need, a tribe that believes in you, that supports you through thick and thin. But remember, this doesn't mean you have to rush into new friendships or relationships. Take your time. Heal, learn from the past. Reflect on what went wrong, not just with the people who left you, but also within yourself. Understand your own patterns, your own tendencies, and what you need in relationships moving forward. This self-awareness is key to creating healthier connections. And let me tell you something, there's something incredibly liberating about recognizing your own value. When you know your worth, you no longer settle for anything less than what you deserve. You set boundaries. You communicate your needs. You don't allow anyone to walk all over you or take you for granted. You start to attract the right kind of people into your life, those who respect you, appreciate you, and see the incredible potential you have. But it's also important to remember that not everyone is going to recognize your worth right away. 
Some folks will still fall short. They won't have the capacity to see the incredible person standing in front of them. And that's okay. That's not a reflection of you. It's a reflection of them. You've got to learn to learn go of those who can't see your brilliance. Because the right people will come along and when they do, it'll be like a breath of fresh air. You'll feel it in your bones. You'll know you're in the presence of greatness. Now as you move forward, remember that healing isn't linear. There will be good days and bad days. There will be moments of doubt and moments of clarity. Embrace it all. Embrace the messiness of life. It's in those messy moments that you often learn the most about yourself. Don't shy away from the feelings. Feel them. Process them. Let them flow through you. Don't bottle them up. That only leads to more pain down the road. And don't forget to celebrate your victories no matter how small they may seem. Every step you take towards healing is a step in the right direction. Every moment you choose to focus on yourself and your growth is a moment well spent. So take a moment to acknowledge your progress. Give yourself some grace. You're doing the best you can. And that's enough. Now, let's talk about forgiveness. This can be a tough pill to swallow, but it's a crucial part of your journey. Forgiveness isn't about condoning the actions of those who hurt you. It's about freeing yourself from the chains of resentment. It's about reclaiming your power and refusing to let their actions dictate your life any longer. You can forgive them without allowing them back into your life. You can release the anger and pain and still move forward. When you hold on to grudges, you're giving those who left you control over your emotions. They've already walked away. Don't give them the satisfaction of keeping you tied to the past. Instead, take that energy and pour it into your growth. Use it to fuel your ambition, your dreams, your goals. Let that pain transform into passion. Let it ignite a fire within you that drives you to achieve greatness. And listen, there will be moments when you feel tempted to go back to the people who left you. You might feel lonely and the familiar faces might call to you. But resist that urge. Don't fall back into old patterns. Instead, remind yourself your worth. Remind yourself of the lessons you learned from the experience. Those who left it see the potential you have, but that doesn't mean you should diminish it for anyone else. Focus on what you can control, your actions, your reactions, your future. You can't change the past, but you can shape your future. And that future, it's filled with endless possibilities. It's a canvas waiting for you to paint your masterpiece. So grab your brush and start creating. Pour your heart and soul into your dreams. Take risks, make bold moves, embrace the unknown. You've got to trust the process. You've got to trust that everything happens for a reason. Every setback, every disappointment, every person who walked away, they're all part of the grand design of your life. They're shaping you into the person you were meant to be. So don't rush the process. Allow yourself to grow, to heal, to evolve. It's a beautiful journey, even when it's painful. And let me tell you, once you embrace that journey, you'll start to see the world differently. You'll start to notice the opportunities that were always there, but you were too blinded by hurt to see. You'll start to attract the right people, the ones who will lift you up, support you, and help you become the best version of yourself. And that's what life is all about, creating connections with those who see you, who appreciate you, who challenge you to be better. In the end, it all comes down to this. You are the author of your own story. Don't let anyone else dictate the narrative. Don't let the ones who left control your plot line. You have the power to write your own ending. You have the ability to shape your destiny, so stand tall. Embrace the journey, the lessons, and the pain. And as you do, remember that the best is yet to come. 
But before you can do that, you've got to heal. You've got to come to terms with the fact that not everyone who starts with you will finish with you. Not everyone who claims to love you will stick around when things get tough. That's just life. And it's okay because the people who matter, the ones who truly care, they'll show up. They'll prove themselves not with words, but with actions. That's the kind of loyalty you want to cultivate around you. You want people who will stand firm when the storm hits, not those who run for cover at the first drop of rain. It's painful when those you thought would be your rock decide to walk away. You question everything. You replay moments trying to decipher the signs you might have missed. Maybe you could have been better done something differently. But here's the truth. You can't control how others respond. You can only control how you react to their choices. So don't waste your energy chasing after the ones who left. Let them go, bless them, wish them well, and move on. That's where your power lies in your ability to choose your response. Focusing on you is crucial. You have to dive deep into your own healing process. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take time and effort. You'll have days when you feel like you're moving forward. And then suddenly you'll hit a wall. That's okay. Acknowledge those feelings. Feel them, don't suppress them. Cry if you have to, yell if you must. But don't let those feelings fester inside you. Let them out. This is part of the process. It's about recognizing your pain, understanding it, and using it as fuel for your growth. Your journey is uniquely yours. No one can walk it for you. This is your time to discover who you truly are, what you stand for, and what you're capable of achieving. You've been given a blank slate to paint your future and the brushes in your hands. Don't allow the absence of others to cast a shadow on your path. Instead, let their departure illuminate the way for your own personal growth. Learning to love yourself is paramount. It's not about being narcissistic, it's about recognizing your worth. You have to understand that you are enough. You don't need validation from others to affirm your existence. The more you lean into self-love, the less their absence will hurt. You'll find that you have everything you need within you. You have the strength to rise from the ashes, the resilience to bounce back, and the wisdom to keep moving forward. And guess what? When you start to love yourself, you begin to attract the right people into your life. The ones who resonate with your energy, who appreciate you for all that you are. You'll start to build a community of like-minded individuals who uplift you and encourage your growth. These are the people who will celebrate your victory, stand by you during your struggles. They'll be the ones who remind you of your worth when you forget. But let's be real, this healing process won't be a straight line. There will be bumps, twists, and turns. Some days will be better than others. And that's perfectly okay. You'll have moments where you feel like you've made incredible strides, only to be pulled back by memories or emotions tied to those who walked away. Don't beat yourself up for that. Healing is not a race. It's a journey. You're allowed to take your time. Just keep moving forward. Even if it feels slow, start setting goals for yourself. They don't have to be massive. It could be something as simple as reading a book, taking a class, or learning a new skill. The key is to focus on actions that will help you grow. Every small step you take is a victory. Celebrate those victories, no matter how minor they may seem. Each one brings you closer to the person you want to become. You see, when you focus on your growth, you become less concerned with what others are doing. You stop checking social media to see if they're happy without you. You stop obsessing over their lives and instead invest that energy into your own. You'll find that as you pour into yourself, your life will begin to blossom in ways you never imagined. You'll find new passions, new interests, and new friendships. 
And remember, the past is just that the past. It's not a reflection of your future. The lessons learned are valuable, but they don't define who you are. You are not your mistakes. You are not the sum of the people who left you behind. You are a collection of experiences, lessons, dreams, and aspirations. Embrace them. As you heal, take the time to reflect on what you truly want in life. What are your goals? What does success look like for you? It's easy to get lost in what others expect or want from you, but this is your life. Make it a life that you're proud of. Chase after your dreams, no matter how big or small they may seem. Illuvian your abilities and trust that you have what it takes to achieve whatever you set your mind to. When you encounter your challenges, don't shy away from them. Face them head on. You've been through times before and you came out on the other side. You're stronger than you think. When you embrace challenges, you expand your comfort zone and that's where growth happens. And in this journey of healing, remember to practice gratitude. It's easy to focus on what you've lost, but take a moment to appreciate what you still have. Count your blessings, big and small. Gratitude has a way of shifting your perspective. It helps you see that even in tough times, there's still goodness in your life. Now let's talk about those who are still around. Appreciate them. Show them the love and respect they deserve. Nurture those relationships. Life is too short to take the people who care about you for granted. Invest in them and you'll find that your circle of support will grow stronger. As you stand in your truth and honor your journey, know that you're not just doing this for yourself. You're doing it for those who come after you. You're setting an example. You're showing others that it's possible to rise above challenges, to heal, and to thrive. You're becoming a beacon of hope for those who might find themselves in similar situations. So as you continue on this path of healing, remember to be kind to yourself. Give yourself the grace to grow. Allow yourself the freedom to feel. Embrace every part of your journey and take pride in how far you've come. At the end of the day, the only person who's guaranteed to be with you for the rest of your life is you. And if you can learn to love yourself, to support yourself, to stand by yourself, then you've already won. So let's celebrate that victory and keep moving forward with courage and strength. You've got this. They left you when you needed them the most. And that's their story. But your story, your story is one of resilience, of strength, of rising from the ashes. Your story is about finding your own power, your own voice, your own path. And when you come out on the other side stronger, wiser, better, you'll realize that you didn't need them after all. So keep going. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Because the best is yet to come and you, my friend, are just getting started. You know, one thing I've come to understand about life is that people are unpredictable. People can change on you in a heartbeat. One day they're right by your side, supporting you, cheering you on, and the next day they're gone without a trace. They may not even be the same person you thought they were. Now, if you aren't ready to stand on your own two feet, that kind of shift can shake you to your core. But here's the thing, you've got to always be ready to survive alone because trust me, some people will suddenly change. Now that might sound cold, but it's the truth. And the truth isn't always pretty. You see, life is full of unexpected twists and turns and people are part of that. People evolve, circumstances change, 
And sometimes those closest to you might not be there when you need them most. Maybe they change because they're going through something themselves. Maybe they change because they've outgrown the relationship. Maybe they change because they were never really the person you thought they were in the first place. But whatever the reason, you've got to be ready to face that reality. You've got to be ready to survive alone. I've seen it happen too many times. People get comfortable depending on others. They rely on someone else for their happiness, for their sense of purpose, for their direction in life. And when that person changes, when that person leaves, their whole world falls apart. They're left lost, confused, and broken. But here's what you need to understand, your survival, your success, your happiness, it can't depend on someone else. It has to come from within you. You've got to be able to stand tall even when people walk away. You've got to be able to keep moving forward even when the people you thought would always be there change on you. See, people change for all sorts of reasons and you can't control that. You can't make someone stay the same. You can't force someone to see things your way. And you certainly can't prevent someone from leaving if that's what they decide to do. That's life. People are going to shift, evolve, grow in different directions. And sometimes they'll grow away from you. They'll become something you never expected. They'll make choices that you never saw coming. And you can spend all day trying to make sense of it. But the truth is, you don't get to control the decisions of others. That's not your job. Your job is to control yourself. You have to understand that. Your power lies in your response, not in trying to prevent the change. You can't stop the inevitable, but you can decide how you're going to move through it. And that's what it means to survive alone. It's about having the resilience, the strength, the self-reliance to keep going, even when the ground feels like it's been ripped out from under you. It's about not letting someone else's actions or decisions knock you off your path. You've got to keep thriving, keep pushing, keep standing strong, no matter what. Now let me be clear, I'm not telling you to shut yourself off from people. I'm not saying you should walk around suspicious of everyone, expecting them to leave or betray you. That's no way to live. Relationships are important. Trust is important. Love is important. But at the same time, you've got to understand that people are human, and humans are unpredictable. People have their own journeys, their own internal battles that you might not know anything about. And sometimes their journey will take them in a direction you didn't expect. Sometimes the people you love, the people you thought you could count on, they'll change on you. They'll act in ways you never imagined. And when that happens, you've got to be ready. You see, the real issue is not whether people change because they will. The issue is how you handle it when they do. You've got to be prepared. You've got to build yourself up to a place where no matter who changes, no matter who walks away, you're still standing. That's what surviving alone really means. It means having the strength to keep moving forward. Even when the people you thought would always be there aren't anymore. Let me tell you something. I had a close friend, once someone I really trusted. We had been through the ups and downs of life together. We shared our dreams, our fears, our goals. We had each other's backs. And then out of nowhere they changed. Their attitude towards me shifted. They started acting in ways that were completely out of character. At first I couldn't understand what was happening. I felt confused, hurt, and even a little betrayed. I wanted to fix things, to figure out what had gone wrong. But no matter what I did, no matter how much I tried, the distance between us kept growing. Now, I could have let that break me. I could have let the pain of that change send me spiraling. I could have spent all my energy trying to force things back to how they used to be, trying to hold on to the past. But I realized something, that's not my job. It's not my responsibility to make someone stay the same. People have their own lives, their own struggles, and sometimes that means they'll change in ways that don't align with where you're headed. And that's okay, you've got to accept that. What you can't do is let it stop you from moving forward. 
The thing about life is that it's always moving. It doesn't stop for anyone. So when people change, when relationships shift, you've got to keep moving too. You've got to keep thriving. Even when it feels like everything around you is falling apart, you've got to have the strength to survive alone. Now surviving alone doesn't mean you don't care about people. It doesn't mean you isolate yourself or push people away. It means that you understand that at the end of the day, the only person you can truly count on is yourself. People can change, they can leave, they can make decisions that you don't understand. But you, you've got to be steady. You've got to be grounded. You've got to have something inside of you that can't be shaken, no matter who. Comes and goes in your life, that's survival. People will change. That's a fact. It's one of those constants in life, something you can't avoid. And it doesn't always happen for negative reasons either. Sometimes people change because they're growing. They're evolving into a new version of themselves. And that version might not fit into your life anymore. It might not align with the person you are or the direction you're heading. And that's all right. It's part of life's journey. But when that happens, you have to make sure that your journey doesn't come to a stop. You have to ensure that you don't lose yourself in someone else's transformation. You see, what happens too often is that we tie our identities to other people. We tie our happiness, our purpose, our self-worth to how others treat us or to the roles they play in our lives. We think, as long as this person is here, I'm good. As long as this relationship stays the same, I'm stable. But that's dangerous because when that person changes or when that relationship shifts, your sense of self can crumble. You start questioning who you are, where you're going, and what your purpose is because you've tied so much of it to someone else. That's a shaky foundation to build your life on. So the key is to build a foundation that's rooted in you. A foundation that isn't dependent on someone else staying the same, the same, or being there for you. A foundation that's built on your own strength, your own values, your own purpose. That's what surviving alone really means. It means knowing that no matter what changes around you, you're still standing. You're still grounded in who you are. Now let's talk about the pain that comes with people changing. Because I'm not going to sit here and act like it doesn't hurt. It does. When someone you care about, someone you trust, suddenly become someone you don't recognize that cuts deep it's a kind of loss and loss hurts but here's what you've got to remember pain is temporary it's a part of life but it doesn't define life it doesn't have to define you yes it's okay to feel the hurt to acknowledge it to sit with it for a while but you can't live there you can't let that pain stop you from moving forward. You can't let it break your spirit. Pain, when you let it, can be a powerful teacher. It can show you things about yourself that you didn't know before. It can reveal strengths you didn't realize you had. It can push you to grow in ways you never thought possible. But only if you're willing to keep going, to keep thriving in the face of it. And that's the beauty of surviving alone. It's about taking the pain that comes with people changing and using it to make yourself stronger, wiser, and more resilient. So how do you do that? How do you survive alone when everything around you seems to be shifting? When the people you thought you'd count on are no longer there? You start by building a relationship with yourself. You start by learning who you are at your core, what you stand for, what you believe in, and what drives you. You invest in yourself. You make sure that you're solid in who you are so that no matter what happens around you, you don't lose your sense of self. That means taking the time to really reflect on what's important to you. What are your values? What are your goals? What's your purpose? And once you know the answers to those questions, you hold on to them. You don't let the actions or decisions of others shake them. People might change, circumstances might shift, but your core who you are and what you stand for remains steady. That's what will carry you through. It also means building up your resilience. Life is unpredictable and people are unpredictable. 
But when you're resilient, you're able to bounce back from whatever life throws you away. You're able to keep moving forward even when things don't go the way you plan. And that resilience, that ability to survive alone comes from facing challenges head on, from not running away from discomfort, but learning how to thrive in the midst of it. Let me tell you something. Some of the strongest people I know are the ones who have learned how to survive alone. They've been through the fire, they face betrayal, they've watched people they love change and walk away, but they're still standing. And not just standing, they're thriving. Because they've learned that their strength doesn't come from someone else. It comes from within. It comes from knowing that they're enough, that they have everything they need inside of them to keep going, no matter what happens around them. And that's what I want you to understand. People will change. They'll grow in different directions. They'll make choices that you don't understand. And sometimes they'll leave, but that doesn't have to shake you. It doesn't have to stop you because your strength, your survival comes from you. You have everything you need inside of you to keep moving forward, to keep thriving, even when people change. When you build that kind of inner strength, that kind of resilience, nothing can break you. No amount of change, no amount of loss, no amount of betrayal can knock you off your path because you know who you are. You know what you stand for. And you know that at the end of the day, you can survive alone. So don't fear change. Don't fear people evolving, shifting or walking away. It's part of life. It's part of their journey and it's part of yours. Instead of fearing it, embrace it. See it as an opportunity to grow, to become stronger, to learn more about yourself. And remember, no matter what happens, you got you. You're your own constant. You're your own foundation. And that, my friend, is enough. Always be ready to survive alone because life will test you. People will test you. But as long as you're solid in who you are, as long as you built that inner strength, you'll be able to keep moving forward no matter what. That's what it means to survive. That's what it means to thrive. And that's how you live a life that's grounded in strength, resilience, and self-reliance. That's what I mean when I say you've got to be ready to survive alone. When people change, when situations shift, you can't let that destroy your sense of self. You can't let that derail your path. You've got to be so secure in who you are, so grounded in your own strength that no matter who comes and goes, you stay steady. That's the key. That's survival. Let me tell you something about expectations. Sometimes the reason people change on you is because they can't meet the expectations you've set for them. We all have expectations for the people in our lives, whether it's family, friends, or partners. We expect them to act a certain way, to treat us a certain way, to be consistent in who they are. But the truth is people aren't always going to live up to your expectations. They have their own lives, their own struggles, and sometimes they'll change in ways that leave you disappointed or even hurt. And that right there, that's a big part of where the pain comes from. It's not just the change itself. It's the expectation you had that things would stay the same. It's the belief that people would continue to show up in your life the way they always did or the way you thought they should. But life doesn't work that way. People don't work that way. And if you go through life expecting everyone to meet your expectations, you're in for a lot of disappointment. People have their own journeys, their own battles, and sometimes that means they're going to fall short of what you hoped for. for. But here's the thing, when you rely on someone else to meet all of your expectations, you're setting yourself up for hardosh. You've got to learn to be your own anchor. You've got to learn to be your own source of strength and fulfillment because people are going to change and not always in ways that you like. And when that happens, you've got to be able to stand on your own. You've got to be able to pick yourself up and keep going, even when the people around you let you down. Let me tell you something, people are flawed. We all are. And sometimes in the middle of their own struggles, people will fail to show up for you. They'll make decisions that leave you questioning everything. They'll change in ways that break your heart. 
but you can't build your now life around who you want other people to be. You can't tie your happiness, your stability, your sense of self to whether or not someone else is meeting your expectations. If you do that, you're handing over your power. You're giving other people the keys to your peace of mind and that's too much to give away because as soon as they change, as soon as they fall short, you're left feeling lost like you're standing on shaky ground. But if you're your own anchor, if you're your own source of strength, then no matter what happens around you, you stay steady. You're unshaken. That's survival. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have expectations. Of course you should. You should expect people to treat you with kindness, with kindness, with honesty. But you've got to understand that even the people who love you, even the people who have the best intentions are going to mess up. They're going to disappoint you sometimes. And when that happens, you can't let it knock you off your course. You've got to have enough within yourself to keep going, to keep moving forward, regardless of what someone else does. And that's where self-reliance comes in. That's where knowing who you are deep down and being confident in that person becomes so important. Because when the people around you change, when they let you down, when they don't meet your expectations, you can't crumble. You've got to be able to stand tall, to stay rooted in who you are and keep pushing forward. See, we often put too much pressure on the people in our lives. We expect them to fill every gap, to be everything we need. But that's too much to ask of anyone. People are going to have their own issues to deal with. They're going to change. They're going to make mistakes. And if your sense of self is tied to who they are or how they treat you, then when they shift, your world shifts with them. That's why you've got to be grounded in yourself. You've got to be so secure in who you are, so confident in your own strength, that when people change, you don't lose your footing. You don't lose sight of your path. You keep going because your strength isn't dependent on anyone else. It's yours. It comes from within. And that's what allows you to survive, to thrive, even when the people around you are shifting. And listen, I know it's not easy. I know that when someone you care about changes, it hurts. It feels like a betrayal sometimes. It feels like you've lost something. But you've got to remember that people are human. They're going to grow in ways you don't always understand. They stand. They're going to change in ways that don't always fit into your life the way you thought they would. But that's not your responsibility to fix. Your job is to make people stay the same. Your job is to stay true to who you are, no matter what's going around you. Now, that doesn't mean you don't care about people. That doesn't mean you walk around with walls up, refusing to let anyone in. It just means you've got to be realistic about the fact that people are going to evolve. And when they do, it doesn't have to shake you. It doesn't have to stop you from being who you are. You've got to be so solid in your own identity, so grounded in your own purpose that when people change, you don't feel like you've lost yourself. You've got to understand that your journey is yours. And yes, people will come along for parts of it. They'll walk with you, support you, maybe even help you along the way. But at the end of the day, your journey is your own. You can't rely on anyone else to carry you through it. You can't expect anyone else to fulfill all the roles you need. That's on you. And when you grasp that, when you fully embrace the idea that you are responsible for your own peace, your own happiness, your own strength, then no matter who changes, no matter who walks away, you're going to be all right. That's the mindset you've got to cultivate, the mindset that says I'm enough. I'm strong enough, capable enough, grounded enough to keep going no matter what. Because when you've got that, when you truly believe that you're unstoppable, people can change, situations can shift, but you, you're solid, you're unshakable. And look, I know it's tough to see people you care about change. It's tough to feel like the ground beneath your feet is moving. But every time that happens, it's an opportunity for you to grow. 
it's a chance for you to look inward and find that strength that's been there all along. It's a chance for you to realize that while you can't control other people, you can always control how you respond. You can always control how you move forward. And that's where your power lies. So when people change, when they let you down, when they don't meet your expectations, don't fall apart. Don't let it shake you. Let it be a reminder that you are your own anchor, your own foundation. You don't need to rely on anyone else to keep you steady. You've got everything you need within you. That's survival. That's thriving. That's living a life that isn't dependent on anyone else but you. And when you live like that, when you embrace that kind of self-reliance, nothing can break you. Nothing can stop you from moving forward, from becoming everything you're meant to be. Because at the end of the day, you've got you. And that's enough. That's more than enough. So don't fear change. Don't fear people evolving or walking away. It's part of life. It's part of their journey and it's part of yours. Embrace it. Learn from it. Grow through it. And remember, no matter what happens, you've got the strength to keep going. You've got the power to survive, to thrive, and to live a life grounded in your own strength, your own purpose, your own resilience. That's what it means to survive alone. And once you've mastered that, there's nothing you can't handle. See, people will change without warning. It could be a friend, a partner, a family member, you never know who or when, but what you can know is that you'll be all right, no matter what, you'll survive. Because you've done the work, you built yourself up, you fortified your mind, your heart, and your spirit. You've prepared yourself to walk alone if necessary. And that's something you've got to practice every day. You've got to wake up every morning with the mindset that no matter what happens today, you'll be okay. No matter who stays, no matter who goes, you'll be all right. That doesn't mean you're cold. That doesn't mean you don't care. It means you've learned to trust yourself enough to know that you can handle whatever life throws at you. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, Denzel, that's easier said than done. And you're right. It's not easy. It takes time, it takes patience, and it takes a lot of inner work. But it's worth it. Because once you've built that kind of strength, once you've learned to rely on yourself, there's a peace that comes with it. A peace that no one can take from you, no matter how much they change. Let me tell you something about life, it's unpredictable. And people, they're part of that unpredictability. You can never truly know what someone else is going through, what's going on in their mind or heart. You can't control their actions, their choices, their transformations, but you can control you. You can control how you respond. You can control how much power you give to the people around you. And when you learn to stand on your own, when you learn to survive alone, you take that power back. Now, understand this standing on your own doesn't mean you're isolating yourself. It doesn't mean you're cutting yourself off from relationships or connections. It means you've built a foundation within yourself that isn't dependent on anyone else. It's a solid, unshakable core that remains no matter what happens around you. People will come and go. Situations will shift. Life will throw curveballs your way. But that foundation, that's yours. That's what keeps you steady when everything else feels like it's spinning out of control. See, a lot of folks out there are looking for stability in other people. They're looking for someone to be their rock, to give them the security they feel they can't find within themselves. But let me tell you something that's dangerous because people change, people leave, people evolve. And if your entire sense of stability is tied to someone else, what happens when they're no longer there? What happens when they change in a way that you didn't expect? You crumble, you lose your footing. And that's why you've got to learn to be your own rock, your own source of strength. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you shouldn't trust people or let them into your life. Relationships are important. Connections are what make life rich. 
but those connections can't be the foundation of your existence. You've got to be able to stand tall whether those relationships remain or not. You've got to trust yourself enough to know that you'll survive, you'll thrive, even when people change. Think about it like this, when you build a house, the foundation is the most important part. You can change the furniture, repaint the walls, knock down a few barriers inside, but that foundation is stay strong. It holds everything up. Now imagine if the foundation was built on sand, the slightest shift, the smallest bit of instability, and that whole house comes crashing down. That's what it's like when you build your life on other people's consistency. You're setting yourself up for failure. But when your foundation is solid, built on self-reliance and inner strength, the rest of the house can weather any storm. Now I know this is hard. I know it feels good to lean on someone else. It feels good to have someone to rely on, someone who's there to catch you when you fall. But what happens when that person isn't around? What happens when they're dealing with their own stuff, their own problems? Are you going to collapse because they can't be there for you in the way you expect it? No, you can't afford to do that. You've got to learn to catch yourself. You've got to learn to trust your own ability to rise when you fall. And let me tell you something else. It's not just about surviving alone. It's about thriving alone. It's about finding joy and fulfillment in your own company, in your own growth. A lot of people out here are afraid to be alone because they think it means something's wrong with them. They think it's a sign of failure, like they haven't figured life out if they're walking solo. But that's not it at all. Learning to be alone, learning to thrive in your own space, that's a sign of strength. That's a sign that you've tapped into something deeper within yourself. See, when you're comfortable being alone, when you're at peace with yourself, you're no longer searching for someone else to complete you. You're not looking for someone to fill a void. You're whole on your own. And that makes all the difference. Because now the people who come into your life, they're adding to your happiness, not creating it. They're not filling a gap, they're just enhancing what's already there. And when they change, when they leave, it doesn't break you. It doesn't shake you because you weren't depending on them to hold you up in the first place. Let me give you an example. Think about a tree, a strong, healthy tree has deep roots. Those roots keep it grounded, keep it steady, no matter how strong the winds get. Now the branches, they might sway. They might lose a few leaves, some might even break off. But as long as those roots are deep, the tree will stand tall. You've got to be like that tree. Your roots, your foundation, that's your inner strength, your self-reliance. The branches, the leaves, that's the people in your life, they might come and go. They might change. But your roots, those stay solid. So how do you build those roots? How do you cultivate that inner strength? It's about doing the work. It's about investing in yourself every single day. You've got to take the time to get to know yourself, to understand what makes you tick, what you need to feel fulfilled. You've got to work on your mental and emotional health. You've got to learn how to self-soothe, how to pick yourself up when you're feeling down. And most importantly, you've got to trust yourself. Trust that you've got what it takes to navigate whatever life throws your way. Now, don't get it twisted. This doesn't mean you won't need help sometimes. We all need help. We all need support. But the difference is, when you've built that inner strength, you're not relying on other people to carry you through life. You're asking for help because it's a tool not because it's your only way to survive. There's a difference between needing someone to save you and simply needing a little support. One comes from a place of weakness, the other comes from strength. And when you're strong enough to survive alone, you'll know the difference. Let me bring this home for you at the end of the day. You are your own best friend, your own strongest ally. No one can be there for you 100% of the time. No one can meet all of your needs. People will change. They will grow. 
they will evolve and they will sometimes leave but you, you've got to stay steady you've got to keep showing up for yourself day in and day out and when you do that when you learn to stand tall on your own you're unstoppable so don't fear change don't fear the shifts that come with life embrace them use them as opportunities to grow stronger to deepen your roots to reinforce your foundation because when you've mastered the art of surviving alone you've mastered the art of life and that my friends is real power that's what it means to be truly free so what does it mean to survive alone it means that you've built a foundation that's unshakable it means that you've invested in yourself mentally emotionally spiritually it means that you're not waiting for someone else to complete you or to validate your worth it means you've done the work to be whole on your own and when you're whole when you're grounded people can change all they want but it won't shake you that's not to say it won't hurt when people change it will we're human we feel things deeply when someone you care about suddenly becomes a different person when they turn their back on you or walk away it stings but that pain doesn't have to break you you can feel it acknowledge it and then keep moving forward because you've learned to survive alone and let me tell you there's power in that there's power in knowing that no matter what happens no matter who changes you've got yourself you're not dependent on someone else to carry you through life you're not waiting for someone else to validate your existence you're not waiting for someone to save you because you've already saved yourself now I know that's hard for some folks to, to accept we're social creatures, we crave connection. We want to be loved, we want to be seen, we want to be understood. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the problem comes when we start relying too heavily on others to give us those things. When we start believing that our worth is tied to how others perceive us. That's where we get lost, that's where we lose our footing. When you're constantly looking outside of yourself for validation, you're giving away your power. You're saying, my worth is in your hands. My happiness is in your hands. My peace is in your hands. My peace is in your hands. And let me tell you, that's a dangerous place to be. Because people will change. People will let you down. People will walk away. And if your sense of self is tied up in them, what happens when they're gone? What happens when they change on you? You crumble. You lose yourself. You forget who you are. But when you've built that foundation within yourself, when you've done the work to be whole on your own, none of that can shake you. Sure, it might hurt. Sure, it might stink. But it won't break you. Because your sense of self, your sense of worth is not tied to anyone else, it's tied to you. It's tied to the work you've put in, the growth you've experienced, the strength you've built. And that kind of strength, that kind of wholeness that's unshakable. Let me put it to you like this. Imagine you're standing in the middle of a storm. The winds are howling. The rain is pouring down, the lightning is striking all around you. But you, you're standing tall, you're steady, you're grounded. Why? Because you've built your foundation. You've anchored yourself in something deeper than the storm, something that can't be blown away by the winds or washed or washed away by the rain. That's what it means to survive alone. That's what it means to be grounded in who you are. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you should go through life with your walls up, never letting anyone in, never allowing yourself to be vulnerable. That's not it. Vulnerability is a strength. Connection is a gift. But the key is to connect without losing yourself. 
to love without losing yourself, to be vulnerable without giving away your power. You've got to find that balance. You've got to know who you are, what you stand for, what you believe in, so that no matter what happens in your relationships, you stay grounded, you stay whole. So many people out here are walking around lost, not because they don't have people in their lives, but because they've lost themselves in those people. They've made someone else the center of the universe, and now they don't know who they are without that person. But that's not sustainable. That's not healthy. You've got to be the center of your own universe. You've got to be whole on your own. And then when people come into your life, they're not completing you, they're complimenting you. They're adding to your joy, your peace, your strength, but they're not the source of it. Think about it like this. You've got to be the sun in your own life. You've got to be the one providing the light, the warmth, the energy. And the people in your life, they're the planets. They're revolving around you, they're part of your solar system, but they're not the source of your light. You are. And when someone leaves, when someone changes, it doesn't dim your light. It doesn't take away your warmth. Because you're the source, you've always been the source. That's what it means to survive alone. It means you're not waiting for someone else to give you what you need. You're not waiting for someone else to make you feel whole. You're already whole. You've already got everything you need within you. And that doesn't mean you don't want love. That doesn't mean you don't want connection. But it means you don't need it to survive. You don't need it to feel complete. You don't need it to know your worth. And here's the thing about people, they will change. It's inevitable. We're all evolving, we're all growing, we're all changing. And sometimes that growth will take people in a different direction than you. Sometimes that change will create distance, it will create tension, will create a gap that wasn't there before. And when that happens, you've got two choices you can hold on for dear life, trying to keep things the way they were, or you can let go and allow them to evolve as they need to. The key is knowing that no matter what they choose, you'll be all right. Because you've built that unshakable foundation within yourself. And that's not easy. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's easy. Letting go is hard. Watching someone you love change in ways you never expected. That's hard. But you've got to trust that whatever is meant for you will stay and whatever isn't will leave. And that's okay. You'll survive. You'll keep going. You'll keep thriving. Because your peace, your joy, your sense of self isn't tied to anyone else. It's tied to you. And let me tell you something else, when you've reached that point, when you've built that strength within yourself, people can feel it. They can sense it. There's a certain energy that comes with knowing who you are, with being grounded in yourself. And that energy is magnetic. People will be drawn to you, not because you need them, but because you don't. Because you hold on your own. And when you're whole, you attract other whole people. You attract relationships that are healthy, that are balanced, that are rooted in mutual respect and admiration, not in need or dependency. That's the power of surviving alone. It doesn't just benefit you, it benefits the people around you. It sets a standard, it shows others what it looks like to be strong, to be whole, to be grounded. It gives them permission to do the same. And when you start building relationships from that place, from a place, from a place of wholeness and strength, everything changes. The dynamic shifts. You're no longer clinging to each other out of fear or insecurity. You're choosing each other from a place of love, from a place of mutual respect. 
from a place of knowing that you're both whole on your own and you're choosing to walk this path together. But here's the flip side, when you haven't done the work to be whole on your own, when you're relying on someone else to fill the gaps in your life, that's when things get shaky. That's when relationships start to feel like a lifeline instead of a choice. And when that lifeline gets pulled away, when that person changes or leaves, you feel like you're drowning. But that's not on them. That's on you. That's on the work you haven't done within yourself. You've got to take responsibility for your own peace, your own happiness, your own sense of self. You can't put that on someone else. That's too much pressure. That's too much weight to carry. And no one, no matter how much they love you, no matter how much they care about you, can carry that for you. That's your job. That's your responsibility. And once you've taken that responsibility, once you've done the work to be whole on your own, you'll find that the people who are meant to be in your life will stay. And the people who aren't, they'll leave. And that's okay. Because you'll know that their leaving doesn't define you. Their change doesn't break you. You'll keep standing, you'll keep growing, you'll keep thriving. So I'm going to leave you with this, always be ready to survive alone because some people will change on you. And that's okay, it's part of life. But you, you've got to be steady, you've got to be grounded in who you are, in what you stand for, in what you believe. People will come and go, they'll change, they'll evolve, they'll leave. But as long as you know how to survive alone, you'll be all right. You'll keep standing. And in the end, that's what matters. That's where true strength lies. True strength isn't about how many people you've got around you. It's not about how many relationships you can hold on to. True strength is about knowing that even when you stand alone, you stand tall. Even when people change, even when life throws curveballs your way, you've got yourself. You're steady. You're grounded. You're whole. And that's where your power comes from. And let me tell you something, when you've got that kind of strength, that kind of power, nothing can shake you. Nothing can break you. You become unbreakable you become unstoppable. Because you're no longer dependent on the world around you to tell you who you are. You're no longer looking for outside validation to prove your worth. You know who you are. You know what you stand for. You know what you're capable of. And that's where true freedom comes from. Because when you're whole on your own, you're free. You're free to love without fear. You're free to connect without losing yourself. You're free to let people come and go, to let them change without it shaking your foundation. And that kind of freedom, that kind of strength that's priceless, that's something no one can take from you. So do the work, invest in yourself, build that foundation, because when the storms come and trust me, they will come, you'll be ready, you'll be steady, you'll survive. And not only will you survive, but you'll thrive. You'll come out stronger on the other side. Because you've learned to survive alone. And here's the beautiful thing about surviving alone, once you've mastered that, you're never really alone. You've got yourself, you've got your strength, your peace, your joy. And that's more than enough. That's everything. So stand tall, stand strong. And know that no matter what happens, no matter who changes, you've got you. And that's all you'll ever need.